Hey, everybody, it's just Beast. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Scotty Allen Day. Today, we are talking about designer clothing. These are the type of clothes and clothes that everybody likes to spend a fortune on. Or is it just by a brand? And most brands that have, uh, that are designer and some brands that are just brands used to be uh, a designer brand. So, I came up with a list of the top 10 designer brands that I like to wear. Now, you may agree or disagree, but a lot of people like certain brands and they find them fashionable, they find them comfortable, and that's what they stick with. That is, that is them, that is what they wear. And if you look at a lot of uh, YouTube creators out there, they wear certain brands. And as they progress into, you know, the, the bigger stages of uh, YouTube being, um, of being a creator, they switch off into, well, more high fashion. And, you know, my taste of fa fashion versus high fashion varies. Uh, right now I'm a large size, so I can't get half the stuff that I like. But I'm going to tell you what I do like. And if you if you like a brand that I'm talking about, or if you experienced good thoughts, good thoughts, 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 good thoughts about uh, certain brands that you like, don't be afraid to put it in the comment section below. I would like to see that. You know, get a general idea of what everybody else likes to wear. I don't think I'm really going to follow up on this, but I might follow it up, follow up on it later on when... If my my channel takes off and starts, maybe do a fashion show or something like that someday. Who knows? Who cares? But like I said, I'd like to share with you the brands and uh, fashion brands and some brands that I like to wear that I feel that are fashionable. And it's just a little bit, a little bit of a way for people to get to know me. So the first, uh, the first brand, which I put at number 10, there's actually two brands that's in that category. And the two brands that's in that category is Wrangler and Stetson. Uh, Wrangler mainly because I used to wear the shirts all the time. Not necessarily the jeans. I wore the shirts all the time. And I wore the shorts quite a bit. Stetson, I wore the jackets. Stetson, I wore the headgear. Wrangler, I wore the headgear as well. Back when I did cattle drives in, uh, when I did cattle drives and I, when I worked the uh, simulation uh, ghost towns. And those were what I wore. They were, they worked, they were fashionable, but I hated the jeans. The jeans for Wrangler never worked. Carhartts, I can't stand either. But, so Wrangler mainly for the shirts, Stetson mainly for the shirts, for the cologne was my choice of a cologne for Stetson, and of course the headgear for Stetson. So my second, uh, my second chat choice of clothing was always Outback. Outback, or Australian Outback, only particularly sells two different types of clothing. And Outback will sell headgear, and they will also sell jackets and dusters, so outerwear. Now, they were very well known for for uh, their headgear and their outerwear because it was virtually impossible for rain to get through these clothes. They normally called them uh, oil skins. And it was basically fabric that was... Uh, waxed and oiled and if you you could you could literally walk through a hurricane with one of these hats on and an oil skin and a pair of boots and not a single drop of rain will hit anywhere else except for exposed skin. You would you could not get that thing wet. You could actually walk underneath a waterfall and walk out dry. 
So I wore Outback quite a while for quite a while. I wore Outback when I uh, did construction. I wore Outback when I did cattle drives in the uh, in the ghost towns. And when I did a lot of traveling, I also wore Outback. My uh, seventh choice would probably be uh, Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahamas. I don't know a whole lot about Tommy Bahama, but I am a fan of their polo shirts. Their polo shirts, I have really enjoyed. I like their silk polo shirts, and I also like their uh, I like their silk, silk polo shirts, and I also like their uh, bamboo uh, polo shirts. They were comfortable. They breathe. I really don't sweat in these particular shirts. They cost quite a bit. They're not high fashion, but they are fashionable. Uh, Tari Bahamas also has uh, a line of Hawaiian shirts that are silk. And I'm uh, not really a huge fan of those because I sweat in those. But it's funny, I don't sweat in the polo shirts. In the two-button polo shirts. And... Uh, and the uh, the bamboo cotton polo shirts, I don't sweat it. So I really like Tommy Bahama. And a lot of other people that I know really enjoy that as well. My uh, fourth designer brand, or brand that I like, they're also a designer brand. Uh, this particular brand can start from 20 bucks, And it can escalate all the way up to about five grand, And it goes even further than that. And that's Tommy Lama. Tommy Lama sells boots, western boots, biker boots, construction boots. It's a very high quality, le breathable leather that you pretty much cannot destroy. The only thing that goes out in these things is possibly the heel. And once the heel gets ready to get low, you take it into a cobbler and it'll be changed in within 24 hours. And it's just like you wear a brand new pair of boots. So Tommy Lama is a very, I, until, until the day I go under, six feet under, I will stand behind Tommy Lama. My next brand that I like is Ralph Lauren. Uh, Ralph Lauren, I like the polo shirts. Uh, they're a bit high, higher quality, according to me. They're not as high of, quali high of quality as uh, Tommy Bahama, but it is a more fashionable. It looks better from a distance. It's more, it's more form-fitting. If you buy it new, you buy it loose, used, not so much. Uh, but Ralph Lauren is a really good quality shirt. They have a really good quality polo shirt and form-fitting, and it looks good when you slam. <laughs> you got to keep that in mind. So, my number five, number five, am I at number five? Let's see here. Let me look at my list. Uh, yes, I'm at number five. Yep. Number five is Dragonfly. Dragonfly is made by Paul Stanley. Paul Stanley designed all the Dragonfly shirts. He is the front man for uh, Kiss, the metal band. I have known Dragonfly since he first released them. And it is a very high quality silk shirt. The buttons are like if you're, if you have a, a pin button and put it on your shirt, these are what these buttons look like. They're, they're amazing. And the, the designs that are on these shirts are amazing as well. These are a clubbing shirt. This is a rock and roll shirt. You can get a Cuban style. But it's designed to go out to a nightclub. It's designed to not wear a t-shirt underneath and have a gold chain on. And it looks good. It just hangs. It hangs on your body. And it's comfortable. It's something that you can lounge around. It looks good. And the way the material is with the Dragonfly is if you wear cologne or body spray or whatnot. And you spray your body and you put your shirt on. And then you spray the cologne on the shirt. It stays with the material. 
that's something that's really unique about Dragonfly, is it stays with the material just as long as you go, and it's and it's designed for you to. I mean, if you smoke cigarettes or smoke cigars, the the smell the smell doesn't linger with the material. It's 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 a strange combination, but it's really nice. And I like it more than a lot of these higher fashion brands. That I mean, if I could buy Dragonfly that fits me right now, I would. My fourth choice is uh, Columbia Sportswear. I love their jackets. I wear their their work boots religiously. They last for a year and a half to two years, even for a big guy like me. They have reasonable prices for their boots. I mean, I wear a size 17 wide shoe, and the boots only cost me 87 bucks. The leather is breathable. The grommets that are on the side for the hiking boots don't bend. They're amazing. They're very well built. The glue state, the glue states. I haven't had, I haven't had a pair of brick or pair once. I wore the, the heels down to the nub before I replaced them. So, Columbia Sportswear, very high quality, very high quality shorts. I, uh, I've worn the t-shirts. I wore the jackets a lot. Just nice, high quality, good looking stuff. The only thing I didn't really quite like about Columbia is every now and then you'll end up with a pair of shorts or a jacket that will peel. Peel is where you have those little tiny, you know, cotton balls that will show up all over your stuff. But there's uh, Columbia Sportswear. Columbia Sportswear is number four. Number three is Rain, Rain Spooner. Rain Spooner specializes in Hawaiian shirts. Uh, I've seen a few cotton shirts off of Rain Spooner, but most of them are silk. No, I take that back. I've seen a few silk shirts off of Rain Spooners, but most of them are cotton. Highly collectible. Very, very well done. The material looks really nice. The, the shirt hangs. It's a, because you're a uh, because you're wearing a Hawaiian shirt. It's called a camp lounge. It's a lounge shirt that's supposed to just hang on your body. It's not supposed to be form-fitting. It's supposed to hang on your body, so it's very comfortable. It's all breathable. It's durable. The stitching's really nice. I like it. And it looks good on me. Just the way the collar is fold out. Number two is Wilson's Leather. Now, I know there's a lot of vegans and uh, animal rights activists out there that don't like people saying this type of stuff. But I do love my leather jackets. I wore a leather biker jacket for 99% of uh, my working career in construction. I wore a leather denim jacket that Wilson's did when I was doing uh, my, my metal bands tours. I just really like them. It's a high quality jacket. It kept me warm. It kept me fed. It kept me fed because I kept was able to be warm enough to be able to work. And it basically saved my life when I was out hitchhiking. I hitchhiked all over the U.S. multiple times to get from concert to concert. Get from rodeo to rodeo, that sort of thing. So I really enjoyed the quality of Wilson's leather. The last one which is the drum roll, the probably king of all fashion for me. And a lot of people out on the road gave me a nickname when I was out there and I was a denim cowboy. Not necessarily a cowboy, just a denim cowboy. I wore my denim jeans, I wore black denim jeans, or I'd wear stonewashed denim jeans, 501s, and I would have a leather fleece line, or Sherpa fleece, which is the white puffy fleece that's on the inside of the jacket. Jacket. Man, I did so much in that. I swore I was going to tear it. I swore I was going to rip it. I swore that the stitching was going to come out of it. You could not abuse that jacket enough. You couldn't even put stains in it. I mean, I had, I had blood stains 
in my jacket. And I just went and I'd take a little bit of, uh, what do we all call it, uh, well, whisk, whisk. Whisk, Mr. D, uh, the laundry surgeon, pour it in there, rub it up, throw it in the wash, and all of a sudden it's gone. You could not stain that jacket. It was just so well built. And it looked good. So the thing is, and and then uh, just to kind of recap, uh, just I know you guys have not seen or heard me talk about, well, what about Nike? What about Adidas? What about Reebok? I wore Adidas and Reebok for a little while in my life. I liked it when I was a kid. My feet don't like them now. And I wore a pair of Nike Space Jam Pump Up Jordans when I was a kid. I wish I would have kept them now. They worth about two or three thousand bucks. But the thing is, is I'm really not into those. I like to be able to have something like that, a pair of denim jeans and a rain spoon shirt and a Motley Crue ball cap. You know, I'm happier than a pig in a pigsty. So this is the way that a lot of people call fashion. A lot of people call it high fashion. Whatever appeals to them is what is who they are. It's what they're made up. Uh, the only thing that I didn't do different when I when I was younger, I had a buzz cut. Now I have long hair. I like my long hair, and I'm never going to cut it. So, no, I may trim it, but you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, there it is. I gave you what I what my clothing choices are. What I call fashion, what I call designer, uh, at one point in history, just about every single one of those that I have talked about was in a designer category. Uh, Levi's was in a designer category in the 80s and 90s until they decided to ship off to Mexico. And once they shipped everything off to Mexico, they went down in, quali down in quality all the way down to about Walmart territory. Just hopefully someday that Levi realizes what they've done and they need to get back up into the cotton category and get in back into the high f into high demands. So let me know what kind of clothes, what kind of brands you guys like to wear. Drop it in the comment section below. I'm just curious. And uh, well, if you like the video, let me know too. And don't forget to like the video, comment. Uh, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. What was the other thing? Oh, yeah, hit that notification bell so you don't miss another one either. And until next time, what do I normally say at the end of this? Oh, yeah, keep on rocking.